Hey folks, this is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. It's uh, end of November. I'm out afternoon. Cold, cold, man. It's 28 degrees. Got 25 mile an hour winds from the west northwest. And uh, I'm heading down into a valley that kind of protects deer from the wind a little bit. And uh, see if I can get down there and uh, get into this stand and uh, hope to find either a, a big mature doe or a buck coming out to feed before dark tonight. Okay, let's get down there and see if we can sneak in this stand without busting deer out. I don't see any deer in our valley yet. But I gotta be careful here. They could be bedded up on that hill without any leaves. You could see me super easy. to this hedgerow a little bit try to break up my outline Man. There, the edge of the woods is the stand I was trying to get to, but I never got there. <laughs> wow. I walked down along the edge of those bushes and shrubs, and there was a, a buck and a doe back here against the woods. The buck was just staring at me and um, gave me plenty enough time to get down onto my knee. I didn't feel comfortable, um, so I slowly got down on my butt, got my knee up in front of me, got a real solid rest, took my time with my breathing and um, felt real comfortable with a shot and uh, it's tough with a GoPro because it's so far away but I could see his tail flick and uh, we'll go ahead and um, pretty confident that I had a good shot so we'll give him about a half hour and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go up to where I shot and see if we can find any blood or hair and uh, start tracking from there but <laughs> not a monster buck but man it's it's been a long season and you know I've had some opportunities at some deer that I screwed up and I really took my time on this one I didn't want to screw this one up so just keep second guessing and doubting myself this year so until I have this buck in my hands I, I'm not gonna be totally confident that it's mine but I'm pretty psyched right now man pretty psyched it's freezing cold I didn't want to be out here too long and uh, that may have worked out just about perfect
think I see him. I don't even think he went 50 yards. Man, he piled up. Here's where he ran up through here. Not as big as I thought he was, but man, I, I'm psyched. It's been a long season to say the least. He wouldn't turn sideways. I thought he was an eight point. He's only a six, but buck in the books. Super happy. Now it's time to shoot some doe. It's been busy, man. He's been rubbing for sure. Sweet. Yeah, baby. Finally, after all this work, all this time paid off. I got a buck this year. Woo! Man, it's just amazing how things work out sometimes. I've been hunting my butt off for two months. Had plenty of opportunity, had some real decent buck this year, one way, shape, or form. Either they haven't ended up in front of me or I've screwed it up. They come out here tonight having really no ambition to get a buck just to shoot a doe. I'm trying to sneak down here in the afternoon to get in a tree stand in a valley where I know the wind's blocked. And uh, I'm taking my time coming down, staying behind brush. And I walk around the corner. There's a buck staring at me with a doe about 20 yards away from him. It's been such a grind this year. It's been so much work. I still have a couple of doe tags. I still have a PA tag for buck and a PA tag for doe. And I uh, can always go back and use my archery muzzleloader tag on public land. So I'm excited. Uh, go up and get Steve, get the buggy, get this guy home, and um, get him butchered up. So. Here we go, finally got a buck, man, in the books. I think that was like a, a three minute hunt. That's a record. Been deer. I'd seen him when I was working over there. Super easy drag on this monster of a buck.